and today we are looking at how to get nice sharp outlines for your shapes without actually having to draw them yourself. And there are two tools that make this very easy. So we're going to look at doing outlines both originally with just some sketches and we'll look at these two tools that do great outlining for you. The two tools I'm talking about, we have the Toon tool and you can see how it keeps a nice sharp black outline around my word no matter what angle you look at it. The tool is nice and round like a cylinder. It's related to the wire tools, but it's always going to have that outline. Even if I scribble in a shape, you can see how that shape maintains an outline from any direction. That's the Toon tool. And the other one we're going to look at over here on our third panel of brushes, this one is referred to as the Cell Vinyl. And you can see how it also has a nice natural outline drawn in as part of it. So my color is actually sat to pretty much white, the background, so we can really see how these outline tools work. Now it is possible to do it by hand. We have a couple of types of brush called unlit and marker that don't have highlight and shadow. So if I just use my simple black line, let me get my simple black line here, whichever way you like to draw black lines, I could draw a shape, I could draw an outline, and then use one of these flat tools. So for example, the marker tool, any of this row of marker tools, when I color it in, I'm going to go for that white again, it doesn't have any highlight and shadow. It's just flat color. So if I make this a little paler, and now I just paint inside these wires. Now I can use those wires to make an outline, but I can then fill in that outline so you don't see it from all angles. You only see that outline where I want you to be able to see through it. So if I'm a little more careful, I can really fill in these edges so it stays an outline to a shape. So if I draw a head or a car or a ball, I can then use these marker tools to fill in the shape. Likewise, on our hull brush tools, the unlit hull, unlit hull, this also lets you draw a shape with no shadow, no outline, no highlight. So if I'm drawing a nice wire shape like this, I can then fill in with this unlit hull so you only get the outline around it. Now if I actually matched my shade of white, if I try to get it to match the background as perfectly as possible, ooh, that's pretty close. Now I recolor. You can see how now the shape almost blends in, all you see is the outline. But this doesn't do a nice outline from every angle. This is just if I sketch first and then I want to fill in the shape. The marker tools and the unlit hull tools are all about filling in space without adding brush strokes. It's almost like you're painting negative space if you can match your background color or the background color of the objects you're working with. But that's kind of old fashioned, that can take a long time. That version is best if you're sketching the outlines first and then you want to go back and fill it in. Marker tool, unlit hull tool gives you the smoothest, most natural fill in. So as one last example, I'll get my black wire again. This time I'm going to draw a circle this way, a circle this way, and I'm going to draw that circle from a couple of different directions. So we can tell it's supposed to be a sphere, but we can see right through it. I'm now going to grab that unlit hull. If I use a normal hull, whoops, not in black preferably, if I use the normal hull, we can see a lot of highlight and shadow. It becomes a shape of its own. But with the unlit hull, now I can really fill in this whole sphere. And as I move it around, 
the sphere gets filled in. Obviously, my sphere wasn't perfect to begin with, but if I fill it in pretty well, you can see how it takes on the outer shape. It's no longer a solid, I mean, it's no longer a transparent glass sphere. Now it has mass. Now it blocks things a little bit. This is purely to get an outline on a solid shape. If you want the shadows and highlights, then we would just use the normal matte hull itself with its own natural highlights and shadows. So this is for filling in outlines, and that's doing it by hand, unlit hull or marker. But these two tools, tune and cell shading, do all that grunt work for you. So I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to go back to the final page of brushes and the one called tune. It's one of the wire tools. I give myself a nice thick brush, again in the white, so we're looking at the outline I'm drawing, not the shape itself. This is to do a nice solid outline. With the tune, because we're drawing this cylinder, with a thick cylinder, if I redraw over the same spot, you can see how it is filling it in, and I only have that sharp black outline around the outer edge. Some of the details, you can see that outline will appear depending on how the curve is. So if I'm really going for a perfect sphere, I'm going to have to go around to all sides and all edges and really try to smooth out all of those extra pieces. Little cumbersome, but this is especially good if I want detail. So if I'm drawing a man's arm with a muscle, I can actually bulge out biceps and things so that they keep their own, and then little forearm action, and the fist up here. You can see how the inner lines can help give you a little more definition, bring out those black outlines a little bit more, building up the mass, and then letting tilt brush add the thick black outline around the outer edge. So any shape we use, any direction, we've got that shape, we've got that outline. So the Tune Brush Tool is for drawing shapes with an outline, a nice cylinder, a nice thick piece, and depending on how big you make your brush, the outline doesn't change, only the inner lines change. So as I scale this up, you can see the different size pieces still have pretty much the same type of outline. Toon brush tool. I'm going to use the Toon tool to give me one line up and one line over. And as I move this around, you can see those lines maintain their lovely outlines from any direction. Now with this here, we're going to switch over to the cell tool, cell vinyl. So I can go one step back, and it's this bright lozenge here, cell vinyl. Now again, different size brush will affect your different size of stroke. This one does a flat plane. So as I rotate this around with this cell brush tool, you can see it's not a cylinder. It's actually flat. So I could paint a curve, and you can see how that curve works. Now it also maintains a black outline. In computer games, the term cell shading that's the term that makes it look like an old-style cartoon with a black outline that's painted in. Games like Borderlands and things use that extensively. This is that same type of tool. So with these black outlines, I can take this structure, and now I'm going to paint in feathers. And you can see how each stroke gets its own quick, easy, natural outline. Going with the next layer of feathers. Or maybe these coming in like that. Now it is a full brush, so if you do paint snaky, you do get snaky lines. In my case with my wing, it's getting a little too snaky up in here. But this is just a quick example so you can see the kind of outlining you can do. Since we are in three-dimensional space, you can see how stacking, if I rotate this, the feathers are just flat lines. The tuned tube of the structure of the wing 
has dimension. Now, if I did start painting them farther and farther out, maybe some larger feathers in the back. So you can see I'm actually painting them behind the other feathers. So if you're not careful, if you start doing things in the middle that sort of overlap, go in front of some and behind others, it can start to ruin the effect. So this is one you do want to sort of take your time with. Let's get back in focus here. You do want to take a bit of time with so we can really make sure these things come out the way you want. So I'm going to take this. We're going to erase that little bit of extra here. Erase that bit of extra here. And then I'm going to select everything. Duplicate it. And then use my selection tool to invert, flip the selection. There we go. Lovely angelic work using the, the selection, the cell vinyl and the tune tools to give outlines. So now I can make feathers and wings and fly away here simply by using these outlines. So depending on the type of image you're making, if we're just working with color and shape, then we can go straight with the paints we want. But if we want this sort of outlined, hand-drawn look, tune for simple cylinder and tubes, sell vinyl for these longer lines. So things like hair, clothes, anywhere we want to get that level of detail, this makes it really easy. I can even go for a very skinny cell and you can see how it keeps the outline nice and natural. And depending on how you phase through your own writing, your own lines, you can see how it overlaps. We can almost do a basket weave using this cell vinyl. I'm going to switch to a little more color. Let's get rid of those. And now I'm going to add some color to these. So let's do some pink. You'll notice the outline stays black. I'm going to do it vertically like that. So if I actually grab these pieces and rotate them around, you can see how it keeps that black outline wherever you're trying to make it. Any color works. If you do choose a flat black, it's got a black outline too, so it's not quite as obvious, but it is doing the same method. So if I switch to any other color, you can see it's got that wonderful black outline. Cell vinyl and tune, built-in black outlining to get some of these lovely effects. If you want this type of painterly drawn effect, cell vinyl and tune make that easy. That's our lesson for today. Just getting you a little more tools to play with, a little focus on some of these useful tools in Tilt Brush. And hopefully you guys are going to have fun doing some real creative art with these things. So I'm going to give us our final message for tonight. Thank you for joining me. We've got all kinds of new episodes coming up. We're going to be doing some things dedicated to certain tools. We're going to do some things dedicated to different styles in art. So if there are things you guys want to learn about, just let us know in the comments down below. And we'll try to make classes based on the things you want to know. Thanks for joining me. Have fun. Tilt. Brush.